Welcome po. Buo ba yung team ko? First time ko kayong makasama. Been a while. So, oh, min- minute yata kayo ni, ano, ni Patch. Pero, welcome everyone. It's nice to see you guys. Thanks for supporting the, the past uh, blog cons. We're gonna have a lot more. So, we're very excited. And today... We're very excited to introduce you guys to one of our newest artists. Very handsome, very talented. So I'm going to turn over muna to Chester, who is uh, the formal host of this blog con. Okay, go Chester. Magandang hapon po mga kapuso. It's nice to see you all again. Kamusta po kayo? I hope that you've all been well the past few weeks. Naku, alam kong excited na excited na kayo makita ang guest natin this afternoon. Kamakailan lang napanood natin sa sa unang hirip, salubungin natin ang ating newest kapuso, QD Chef, Chef Jose Sarasola. Palakpaka naman tayo dyan mga kapuso. <laughs> yes! Hey, Chef, Hi guys! Any message you would like to give to our bloggers? Uh, yeah, first off, uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me this afternoon. Uh, I know you guys are also busy at home and doing other things, but I appreciate that uh, you guys are spending this afternoon with me and uh, hopefully we'll have fun. Thank you so much, Seth. And before we move on to our question and answer portion, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of Sir Mark Sublan, ER, and Dance Manager. And of course, we have our dear bloggers this afternoon. We have Miss Kate Adahar of Random Republica, Zorman Hernandez of My Juicy Net, Mr. John Bueno of Kumagkao, we also have Mr. Rocky Batara of The Lifestyle Portal, Mr. Nazamel Tabares of Pelicula Mania, Ms. Angeline Demo of Mommy Smagline, Ms. Gracie Bongolan of It's Me Gracie, Mr. Albert Aguilido of Sikanes, Mr. Chad Solis of The Manila Feed, Mr. Rain De Ocampo with the self-titled blog, Rain De Ocampo. Medellin Aguas of bbaguas.blogspot.com. Alan Sancon of Star Photog. Mr. Marco of Cuento Ni Toto. Mr. Ted Claudio of Wazdot.ph. And we also have Ms. Tracy Garcia, Senior Town Manager of GMA Artist Center. And a few reminders lang po, as much as possible, one question lang po tayo so that we can still accommodate more bloggers who would like to ask questions. And I believe the first question will be coming from Ms. Kate at the heart of Random Republic. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Jose. Ano Hi, Ms. Kate. Hey, ano move? And ano to? Pwede mo ba kaming kwentuhan kung paano nangyari yung pag, pagiging kapuso and ano yung mga plans mo ngayong kapuso ka na? Ah, yeah, sure. Um, the plan was just really, you know, to focus more on my culinary career, which as everyone knows, uh, I took up uh, culinary at Binild. And for the longest time, you know, it's always been a passion of mine. Although, nung mga early years ko sa showbiz, hindi talaga na-push yung pag-chef ko. But ayun, nung past three years, I've been doing mga gigs with Nor for sa mga SM malls, mga cooking demos. And you know, I was realizing na parang sign naman yung pagka-chef ko na, you know, there are not that many chefs na which, like, yung parang I'm trying to be like a hunky chef na, you know, parang healthy-healthy na parang konti lang. Why not also like focus on those kinds of like, you know, yung magiging like anong character ko sa, sa career ko. And I think yun nga, I really thought of, you know, uh, coming to GMA to really, you know, pursue my, you know, dream of becoming a celebrity chef. But siyempre, I have to focus then on, you know, the culinary lifestyle, which I think also GMA caters to more of my direction and my path in terms of their cooking shows, their, you know, um, you know, um, travel shows when they visit different places and try different food, kinds of food. So I thought it would be the perfect place to start my new career in terms of being a chef. But also, not also forgetting yung still my acting sa mga teleserye, mm-hmm. which I still want to do pa rin on the side. You know, it's still fun to act. So, I still want to continue pa rin yung acting side ko besides being a uh, chef. Thank you and good luck. Thank you po. 
Thank you, Ms. Kate. Next question will be coming from Mr. Alan Sanquan of Star Photo. Hi, Jose. Okay. Hi, Kuya Alan. How are you? Yeah. Last time we have one on one, di ba? Napag-usapan natin to pero hindi pa natin recorded. Hindi pwede nang pag-usapan. Yes, planning, uh, planning eh. <laughs> being ano, uh, a kapuso now. So if given a chance to ano to work with Kapuso Stars, sino yung nakikita mong gusto mong makatrabaho in at a serye? Or gusto mong i-guess sa cooking show mo? Kung if given a chance to choose, sino yung mga yun? Siguro one uh, girl and one boy. Um, siguro well, sa guys, it's easy kasi yun nga talagang close friends ko. Sila Rodrun Cruz, sila Raver, sila Marco Alcaraz, since parang gym buddies ko sila. So sa guys usually sa guys sila and then um sa girls siguro I don't know it's so hard there's so many good talented uh women in GMA who are you know uh really good in like you know acting and like everything but siguro one person that would probably appreciate like being a guest a cooking show or maybe Solen would be a good choice since she has her own like you know cooking techniques and cooking style so probably Solen would be a good guest but you know well, Alan, siguro, end of the day naman, kahit naman, sino mag-guest, as long as, you know, ma eventually, dumating tayo dun sa part na, hopefully, magka-cooking show, and whoever guest naman will be, uh, will be much appreciated naman. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks, Kuya Alan. Thank you, Mr. Alan Sinpon. Next question will be coming from Mr. John Bueno of Pumagkaw. Hi, Osef. First time uh, meeting you virtually. Yeah, um, nice to meet you. Can you tell us about um, what your ideal girl um, is, and can you also like uh, maybe give us a background? Or are you single? Um, are you not courting anyone? And you know, just give us like a lowdown of that. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, Siguro, I have my ideal girl now. Um, I'm in a relationship. My girlfriend is uh, Maria Ozawa, and. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we're, I'm happy naman, you know, she, she makes me also a very better person. Um, we've been together for the past three years and uh, it's, it's fun also dating somebody from a different, well, not dating, but being with someone from a different country. You learn new values, new traits from uh, how they are in their country and, you know, we also travel a lot. We get to see different parts of Japan and try different kinds of food, which, you know, us Pinoys aren't used to because we grew up like especially me I, when i say japanese food it's usually what uh like makis and um uh, tempura karaage so mga basic stuff but then being with maria you know um she's taught showed me a different you know uh, culinary side of japan which i really appreciate now and uh, i never would have thought i would be eating these different kinds of food in japan but yeah i think um she's she's really uh, good for me and uh, it's been a happy three years naman um, do you think it will be um, actually a deterrent not for people not to actually look at you as like a single guy? Um, I think naman, I, I, I can still kind of, you know, uh, work with what I have naman. You know, in, in the long run naman, I, I want people to look at me for who I am, not whether I'm in a relationship or not in a relationship. But I want them to really see that it's more about me, my cooking side of being a chef, which I want them to appreciate about me. So in terms of being like, you know, deterrent since I'm in a relationship, but um, I, I don't really think that's, that's, uh, that's really a thought of mine. But, you know, end of the day, naman, they can always have their opinion. But as long as they still enjoy what I'm doing or what I'm cooking for them. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. John Bueno. We also have Mr. Rain de Ocampo. Uh, hi, Chef. Hi, Sir Rain. Good afternoon. Um, yung cooking show, uh, food shows, they, they are going to be big, especially in online. Uh, um, there are a lot of celebrity chefs out there. So what's going to be different with Chef Sola, uh, Sir Sola? Uh, that's that's a, that's a good question, Sir Rain. Siguro maybe I want to bring a different flair to my kind of cooking because parang people think that I'm usually a chef that makes you know fancy food, you know, maybe a dish which won't be typically done at home, usually like pang restaurant. But on the flip side, you know, I want to show them that I can also cook mga lutong bahay, mga basic stuff like mga sinigang or mga tinola or adobo with a very simple twist that will make the dish so much better. So basically. 
in terms of your question, is just want to be like a chef that will differentiate from everyone by doing very uh, easy home cooked meals. Pero in a way, pa rin po, kahit pa ano, lasang, uh, how do I say, it? maybe lasang restaurant na uh, at least a bit, a bit fancy, pero it still tastes yung uh, pagalutong bahay niya. And siempre, I want to push din yung pagka healthy ko. So since, you know, I, we work out a lot with my friends, you know. They also really push to eat healthy, you know, always use like, always use like, you know, fresh ingredients, you know, and healthy stuff. And I think that would be my, you know, my, my niche na talagang ipag-promote ko yung pagka-healthy lifestyle in terms of workout and yung sa food ko. Chef, follow up. Uh, you mentioned sure. about Maria uh, earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. naka- napaglutuan mo na ba siya? I mean, nakapagluto ka na ba para sa kanya? And ano yung favorite niya na niluto mo? Um, actually, to be honest, I think she's cooked more for me than I've cooked for her because ever since she moved to the Philippines like four years ago, um, she's been really like studying how to do mga Pinoy dishes. She really loves like uh, sinigang, she loves adobo, she, lo- she loves mungo. So mga very simple stuff talaga na she's learning and you know, she's made a few Pinoy dishes for me with her small Japanese twist to the dish. And you know, in, in all honesty, her her food really tastes good, talaga. So I think you know, next time I have to be, I have to do more dishes for her since she's not always cooking for me. But yeah, she's she's a good chef and she really enjoys the uh, Arpinoy food. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Rain De Ocampo. Next question is from Miss Bedadin Aguas. Hi, hello, po. Um, Hello. Ash ka lang. Oo. Ash ka lang. Um, yung before ba, um, may plano na talaga na, may plano ba na magkaroon ng, on, ng cooking show or uh, yung ngayon nangyari sa pandemic, ano pa yung plano mo? Since lalo na ngayon nakapuso ka na. Um, sa ngayon po, naka, yun nga po, naka-guest na po, naka-guest na po ako sa unang here at last Friday and, uh, Uh, yesterday. So, I think sa ngayon, since hindi pa maka-guest sa studio mismo or hindi pa makapunta ng GMA, siguro ang mangyari is talaga is, you know, just cook from home lang and maybe submit mga videos or, you know, may Zoom, Zoom lutuan with, you know, other hosts. So, I think yun muna yung magiging norm for now until we can go back to, you know, we can go back to Um, yung regular norm na we can cook sa mga studio or sa mga location but for now po yun nga muna it's more of like cooking at home muna and like you know just sending the videos to to them and then you know for them to bring it all together okay next question yes. okay. Oh. thank you so much Ms. thank you Kelly. Thank you. Next question will be coming from Mr. Chad Sodis of the Manila Food. Hi, Jose. Hi, good afternoon. So, good afternoon. Hi. So, baybayan natin yung career mo, no? So, from Fear Factor, we're in yes. uh, isa ka doon. So, uh, I just want to know lang, paano ka nagpaalam with your bosses at saka sa dami ng friends mo dun sa kabilang istasyon? Ah, okay. Yeah, it, it was okay naman. I mean, I was there for 10 years. So I, you know, made so many friends therein. And, you know, um, from the bosses to the directors, sa mga EP, sa mga Star Magic staff, and mga co-artists. So I, I, I still did the proper farewell pa rin to everyone just to notify them lang that, you know, I'll be leaving. And um, yun. But it was also not naman that hard po kasi wala naman po akong contract. Uh, tapos na po yung contract ko doon. So... You know, it was perfect timing then. And you know, they know naman na I'm a chef talaga and they really, they knew naman na I really wanted to pursue yung culinary career ko and becoming a celebrity chef. And so yun, my blessings naman sila. All of them wished me well naman. And you know, and they're saying na hopefully you achieve what you want to to get. So ano naman, very supportive naman po sila. How does it feel now being a kapuso? Um, it's It's a blessing. It's a blessing, sir. I mean, you know, during this COVID time, especially for them, for, you know, for Miss Tracy's team and the Artist Center team to like give me a chance and to sign me, you know, it, it, it's such a big, big thing for me. It's really, I feel so, so happy. You know, I, I don't know what really adjective to describe my feeling, but you know, it's just, you know, at least I found a new home and uh, I appreciate them, you know, and uh, very thankful ako na they signed me and, you know, I just 
now to moving forward, I just don't wanna let them down. I really wanna show them my talents and hopefully I don't uh, you know I don't disappoint. Thank you and welcome to Capuso. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Chad Solis. Now our next question will be coming from Mr. Marco of Cuento Ni Tito. Hi. Hi, Hi sir. sir. Good afternoon. Hi, sir. Marco. Good afternoon po. Hi. Uh, ask ko lang, uh, kasi di ba si Chef Logro is my signature siya na sinasabi every time yung ping, 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 ping. <laughs> si Jose, ano ang magiging signature na parang para makilala si Jose with regards sa uh, cooking? Nako, Sir Marco, wala pa ako sa stage na yun. Parang, uh, that's a good thing. I have to think about that. So, me and Kuya Will will probably have to think of what uh, my signature move will be. But siguro, for now, Sir Marco, I can say lang, it's more of, you know, me na bring a different style to the table. Na People always perceive me as being social and, you know, too fancy. But, you know, I want to show them a different cooking side. Na I can still cook mga lutong bahay, mga street food, uh, that will pre probably be appreciated by like more Filipinos since talaga yung mga lutong bahay yung mga quick meals are more a trend ngayon kasi yung COVID I mean you can't really just go out and buy like you know expensive or fancy ingredients parang uso ngayon people wanna like cook ko ano meron sa ref ano meron sa ano meron sa closet so I think Sir Marco it's more of me doing dishes na people will think oy kaya niyo din pala niya gawin yun so I mm -hmm. think that would be the trend okay thank you Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marco Demo of Cuento Ni Toto. And now, our last question will be coming from Mr. Albert Abelido of Sikanes. Last question. Hi, Chef Jose. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Um, nakakadagdag ba sa pagiging sexy ng lalaki yung magaling magluto? Ah, oh, wow, that's a good question also. Well, they say kasi before, uh, when you were cooking, uh, I mean, back in the days when I was still in school, pag yung chef daw malaki, ibig sabihin, masarap daw magluto. Pero pag yung chef payat daw, hindi daw masarap magluto. So I beg to differ from that uh, notion since um, I think naman now, everyone's becoming so versatile. I think anybody can learn cooking or easy recipes on the fly since it's so easy to Google dishes. It's so easy to check on YouTube how to make a particular dish or recipe. You can search it so easy. So, parang ngayon, sobrang dali ng makahanap ng mga recipe. So, I, it's really hard to judge a person, you know, by a book by its cover. So, I think naman, end of the day, it's anong kalabasan ng dish. So, you could have the most, you know, questionable looking person make an awesome or fantastic dish na hindi mo makalay na parang, oh, kaya niya pala gawin yan. So, I think, end of the day, it's more of, uh, when you try the dish and whoever makes it, parang becomes a bit irrelevant. So whether naman like fit yung person or hindi fit, as long as I think masarap naman yung dish, I think yun naman po yung important. Um, are you with Maria Ozawa Bad while we are in this quarantine period? Um, yes, she we she we don't live together yet. Uh, I live in Paranaque. She lives in Pasay. Um, but when the ECQ started, she stayed with us for a month. And then after a month, you know, she wanted to go back to Japan. You know, she has her parents there, um, her friends. She still owns a bar in Shinjuku. So, you know, we kind of had a bit of a miscommunication of I should to go home. Shempre, I was worried if she would leave, she would have a hard time coming back. But, you know, I, I, I thought we had a long talk. Now, you know, I, what if I was in her situation? Of course, I want to be with my parents also, see my, my friends. So, I, I allowed her to go home naman. So, she's there in Japan now running her bar and uh, staying with her parents naman. And, uh, yeah, we, we Zoom naman. Uh, we Zoom and we vibe naman almost every night naman just to, like, catch up and how everything's doing in Japan. Kasi there, it's, it's more fun. Eh. Wala silang lockdown. Eh. Tuloy yung trabaho and yeah. everything. Eh. Not like here, medyo... Everything's still strict and everything. So she's doing okay naman there in Japan now. And yung last question ko is, mas nag, anong tawag ito? Ano yung mas naging effect nung, nung pagiging together within a month sa relationship nyo? Parang mas napadalas ba yung away or mas naging mas close kayo together? When she was there or when she was staying with me here in the house? When she was staying with you. 
um siguro we realized you know more things about each other kasi nga we weren't living together yet in the past two years three years namin eh. so you know it, it, you, when you live with someone if you see someone every day talagang may mga tendency talaga na mag-aaway kayo mag-argue kayo and you know if you guys uh, know she's half Japanese half Canadian so she's a different point of view compared to us Filipinos eh so like sometimes for us tama to ito yung family way ito yung proper way for us Filipinos but for her medyo iba and then for her naman for being very liberated you know she's been working ever since she was at a young age and she's Japanese sometimes for her naman kung tama naman sa kanya for us naman Filipinos who have like you know we have all kinds of values parang you're like hindi mali yan it can't be like that so you know sometimes we really clash but you know I guess it made our relationship stronger and you know um, yeah I mean we didn't really have like a big fight more of like mga small arguments and like Mis- misunderstandings in terms of like yun nga, different cultures kasi you know I'm Filipino she's Japanese so you know small things like that pero hindi naman tipong big fights na we can't handle so thank you congrats chef thank you Sir Albert thank you so much thank you Mr. Albert Abelido we have another question coming from Mr. Ted Claudio of wasop.ph hello chef Good afternoon. Hello. Hi, Sir Ted. Good afternoon po. Ah, kamusta? Okay naman po. <laughs> okay. Chef, after this quarantine, ano yung bagay na gusto mong gawin pag na-leap up na tong quarantine na to? Wow, gusto kong gawin. Well, you know, one thing I think Sir Ted is, you know, get back to work. You know, whatever uh, Artist Center and sila Miss Tracy have planned for me, you know, I'm willing to do anything naman just to get, you know, my feet wet back again into the business and you know whether it's a teleserie it's a cooking show it's also a travel show which I really want to do also as I was saying parang mala Anthony Bourdain yung traveling to different parts of the country trying food and create, giving my opinion that would be one number two pa would be my bar uh, I have a bar here sa Paranaque called Avenue 75 so hopefully it, you know it, it goes back you know because that's also my main source of income so I'm praying na itong GCQ ma- maging, you know, malesen yung pagiging strict so I can actually bring in people to my bar. Kasi ngayon, panay, ano lang eh, take out eh. Wala pang dine-in. Mm-hmm. Although, i- ibang places are having dine-in na, but medyo strict here sa Paranaque. We're always the last to like lift a liquor ban, yung curfew namin, 8 p.m. pa rin. But if eventually we can open like, you know, for dine-in kahit mga 10 to 6 p.m., malaking bagay na po yun, Sir Ted. So, you know, hopefully, yun. In terms of career with, with you know, with Artist Center and GMA and hopefully my bar can kind of at least a, a bit go back to the regular routine of having customers inside. Hindi lang puro take out. Okay. Welcome to the Artist Center and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Sir Ted. Sige, yeah, bye. Thank you so much, Sir Ted Claudio. And Jose, do you have anything that you would like to promote and upcoming projects that your fans should look forward to? Um, yeah, just maybe they can help me like um, promote my Instagram handle, uh, Chef Jose Sarasola. And also, um, I also have uh, my Facebook. We're starting my Facebook fan page, uh, Chef Jose Sarasola. So that would help then if you guys can put in the good word. And uh, yeah, just, you know, just willing, just ready and willing to get back to work na, you know, start the ball rolling and, you know, start doing whichever work that Sila Miss Tracy have planned for me. And yeah, just want to, I'm just really thankful to be here and, uh, you know, just grateful to be with Artist Center, especially during these hard times. So I just appreciate what their team, Miss Tracy's team has done for me. And um, thank you to everyone who joined me today. I appreciate the time. I'm sure you guys have other important things to do, but you know I appreciate you guys spending your afternoon with me and uh, hope to meet all of you soon in person. And uh, hopefully you can also come to my bar and uh, try my food at Avenue 75. Ako bahala. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jose. Pero before we end, or before you move on to our group, sir, meron lang pong last pahabol na question from Mr. Rocky Batara of the Lifestyle Portal and Runner Rocky. Sure, Hello, sure, sir. Sure. Hi, hi, sir, Rocky. Hello. Ayun siguro, aside from cooking show, ano yung dream role mo sa teleserye sa GMA? And sa cooking show mo naman, siguro ano yung unang iluluto mo na signature dish ni Jose na hindi pa naluluto nung lahat? Oh wow, hindi pa naluluto. Parang ngayon, sa time to, sa time ngayon, with everyone cooking online, parang sobrang, everyone's been doing all kinds of dishes. Eh. So in terms of not, hindi pa naluluto, that's very hard. But 
siguro I'm gonna make a very uh, simple naman French dish called Coco Van. It's actually mm-hmm. in my Instagram uh, Instagram page. It's basically a chicken stew cooked in red wine. So it's very easy naman. It sounds a bit intimidating, but it's just basically you throw your chicken in a pot with all your vegetables and you just mm-hmm. put red wine and chicken stock and make everything uh, simmer. And after an hour, um, okay na siya. So that's what's one thing for mga, sa mga luto. In terms naman sa roles naman, you know, I've always mm-hmm. been intrigued with GMA's fantasy shows, which um, we never had sa kabila. So mm-hmm. <laughs> hopefully, you know, I get to try something like that, you know, wielding these. Kasi I will see sila Rojo and sila River with these, uh, you know, it's actually Rojo nung Encantado mm-hmm. days niya with these uh, armor and swords. So, you know, hopefully soon, uh, you know, I get to try something like that and be in a, you know, fantasy type of uh, teleserie. Ayan. Thank you, sir. And see you sa mga fitness and running event. Oh, yes. I always see you there. <laughs> see you, see see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rocky Batara. And salamat po ulit sa lahat ng vloggers na nakaisa ngayong hapon. But before we end, group picture muna po. Okay. Ate Mar- Everybody, please turn on your cameras. Okay po. Chad. Okay na po. One, two, three. One more po. One, two, three. More pa po. <laughs> Not ten. <laughs> okay na malo. One more pa po. Ano malu, are you ready? <laughs> okay na. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you everyone. Tester, thank you. Thank you po. Thank you guys. God bless. Congrats sa sa. Thank you po. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Jose. Oh, boy, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>